What is good everybody, today we are back with brand new WWE action figure news and it is some big news because we finally have revealed to us the new 2024 WWE Mattel San Diego Comic Con exclusive figure is upon us man, we're going to discuss all the details that we get here, everything that comes with it all the breakdown, everything like that, so you guys haven't seen, I feel like most of you that are watching this video probably have already seen the reveal, but if not it is pretty sweet, we're going to dive into it get into all the things, just discuss every detail of what we have going on here man, if you guys want unaware we are getting the WWE Mattel San Diego Comic-Con exclusive for 2024 is going to be Wrestlemania 12 WWE Ultimate Edition Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels yes we do have the figure here we're gonna go through every single figure we're gonna break down all of the we're gonna break down the lore we're gonna get into all the details with this figure break it down break down the packaging every single thing here and hopefully we will have a review for this figure coming very very soon as we approach Comic-Con or even shortly thereafter Comic-Con but it should be a great time man looking through all the images first off I mean I know a lot of people are probably going to be shocked by this, or at least when you first heard of this figure, you first saw this figure, you were probably pretty shocked. You're probably like, what the hell? This isn't pop culture crossover. But for me, I I mean, I'm with you. I'm shocked with you. But at the same time, I'm, I'm glad, man. I'm very happy this doesn't have any pop culture crossover. Now, I'm one of those guys that enjoys the weird releases. I do enjoy, you know, the Mr. T's of the world. I enjoy the G.I. Joe slaughter. I like the crazy Zeus and Rip stuff, all right? But I think that we kind of entered into an area where they probably didn't have enough meat on the bone in terms of finding somebody that would fit into that that would be doable right I mean the only thing that I could think of that they could do or I mean there's plenty of stuff they could do but if they really wanted to add to that you know lore of SDCC or make it special and exclusive I mean Macho Man as Bonesaw is like the only thing that I can really think of that I truly want in terms of things that could possibly be I think that that would probably be my next one you know outside of maybe a Jimmy King right I mean a Jimmy King or some sort of David Arquette Ultimate Edition pack or something like that which I don't think would happen maybe if the stage funded maybe that would could be, you know, maybe that could be something that was at least on the table, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Nonetheless, I'm kind of getting off on a little change. I'm glad this isn't a pop culture reference. I'm glad that it's all true to wrestling. It is its own wrestling action figure, truly committed to Shawn Michaels right here. But the packaging on this thing looks incredible. I like the little slip cover with the Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid. You have an image of Shawn there. You have like the, I like how it has the dreamy star stuff, you know, because it's, you know, he accomplished his boyhood dream, whatever there. I think that's awesome. The colors are very amazing amazing on here. The packaging with the gold and stuff looks amazing. I think like a Hall of Fame. I would love to see, this doesn't really look like a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive because of what we're used to, but at the same time, I think it looks exclusive. It looks like it would be some sort of ringside exclusive. It looks like it would be some sort of Amazon exclusive or something like that. So we do have Shawn Michaels here. The packaging looks amazing. You got the WrestleMania 12 logo. We're seeing all the images here. It is another Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels. I had some people talking about, you know, the torso and stuff, but we'll get into it. Getting into the head sculpts and everything going on. The head sculpts look pretty good to me. I don't like the smiling one or like kind of the mouth open smiling one. I do like the yelling head sculpt and I do like, you know, the wet hair post match celebrating with the eyes closed. The only thing that's really missing from these accessories is the world title. The world title would have been amazing to put with this. I know we have multiple copies of it, but having that in there would have been amazing. You do get the interchangeable ponytails there. You know, you can adjust them, what have you. But one really unique accessory is going to be the zip line or the hook there. So you guys can see that it comes there. And if you look in the images, you know, he can hook onto it and, and you know, ride down the zip line. I know it doesn't come with a zip line, but it still comes with, you could easily like attach that to, you know, the ceiling of a detolf or you know a shelf and it'll look like Shawn Michaels zip lining in and that is so incredible I think that's such a really unique piece and again this seems like it would be a ringside exclusive or some sort of store exclusive but it is going to be the comic-con exclusive which I like a lot I think this is a great one a great pick a great attire it's one of those where you know we've seen it in elite form we've seen it in the entrance greats way back in the day and it's one of those pieces that if you want it you can grab it and if you don't want it because you know there's different things you could skip over it you know it's not an attire we've never seen but the white gold and silver is clean you guys know I love white gears it's one of my favorite Shawn Michaels gears of all time and I personally like that they're going with the fan takeover torso they didn't go with the old school and I know that this one has butterfly joints and stuff but the Amazon fan takeover Shawn Michaels in the red and white was such a damn good figure it was one of my it's one of my favorite ultimate editions ever and I think this one is going to fit right in there with it one thing that makes this unique is he actually has interchangeable arms here so the entrance gear is a part of the interchangeable arms you can put those white arms in there and then you have the little vest chest piece 
that adds to the entrance gear, unlike cloth goods. So the only cloth goods you're getting are the pants accessory, which are very similar to the entrance grates that we saw back in the day. I'm sure these are new graphics and stuff. I doubt this is the exact pants we got with that entrance grates. I do have that figure. I'm, I'm not sure entirely if this is going to be the exact same pants. I'm sure they redid the graphics and did different things to it, but at the same time, but at the same time, who knows? We'll have to see that when we get it in hand. But one thing that's cool about that entrance grates is I'm pretty sure it was a whole bodysuit, wasn't it? Wasn't it a whole bodysuit? So maybe if you have that entrance grates, you could, you know, put that bodysuit on this Ultimate Edition without the interchangeable arms. Maybe you could do something like that. Maybe you can use one of these head sculpts, put it on your old entrance grates. There's different things you could do there, but I like this selection. I think this is cool. I am glad, again, that it's not pop culture reference. It's not pop culture related in any way. You know, you don't have that crossover for years and years. We've seen that. Yeah, the know. Shockmaster you had the Macho Man Slim Jim figure, you had the Mr. T, you had the G.I. Joe Sarge, you had the Rip and Zeus 2-pack, and now we have this interesting piece of an Ultimate Edition. It's not a two-pack, it is not a two-pack, but at the same time, I still like it. I like it a lot more, man. I think this is this is going to be one of those that actually does sell quite well. I don't think you're going to have a Muhammad Ali situation where this guy's sitting around. I think this is going to be one of those that's difficult to get, or at least harder to get than it's been in the past. I think that this is going to be one of those packs that people go after and sell out of, and I think you should grab this. Now, this thing is going to go up for pre-order. It will be up for grabs on Mattel Creation, so you don't have to be there in person to get it. I am I am going to be in person to pick up one. I am definitely going to try my hand at getting one of these in person at Comic-Con. But this thing is going up for pre-order Thursday, July 25th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. It is going to retail for $45 and it should be fun, but it says our San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusive commemorates 40 years of WrestleMania with an Ultimate Edition action figure of Mr. WrestleMania himself, the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels from the legendary WrestleMania 12 Iron Man match. This figure includes Shawn's iconic zipline and entrance gear as well as interchange hands and head straight out of his classic event and this this is just great i really like this you know a lot of people i think it's one of those that you could easily skip over if you didn't want it but it's such a fun one i think this is awesome truly i do think this is awesome i think you have a, a few different ways to display it as well you could do the zip line you could do with the hair matted and you know post match which is something that mattel's been doing for a while now they've been trying to give us that post match that mid match look where you know the hair sweaty thanks Sami Zayn after the match when he won the tag title so they're trying to get that actual moment in time when he came out or when he won the match up there with the championship. I know you don't have the championship here, which again would have been a great detail, but at the same time, I understand it. And I like this. I like this a lot. And you know, we've always been begging Mattel to do wet haired looks or post match looks here for Sean. You know, they always make his hair thick. Same thing with Bret Hart or Roman Reigns. You know, the hair pieces are really thick. This is actually going to add to the realism in which, you know, it'll look like that post match. It'll give it that wet hair look. I uh, wish it was kind of darker because, you know, his hair does get darker after. Not the biggest deal there, just sort of something to point out, but he also has knee pads, which is also another great thing. A lot of times, they leave the knee pads off these Shawn Michaels figures, so that would also be a really key thing to have in there. I don't really have any complaints about this, you know? I don't have any complaints about it. It's not a Muhammad Ali situation. It's not, oh, does this really have anything to do with wrestling? I think it's a, I think they low-key nailed it on the head. I think they hit the nail on the head with this release here, and you'll also notice in these images, you are getting pins in the arm, so they're not pinless. It looks like, I don't think this is a repeat use of the Cody Rhodes jacket arms, but it kind of looks that way. I don't think it is. They're, they're definitely sculpted by themselves, but you know, we saw that on the same Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition is he had pins in his arms as well. So maybe that's just something that they're trying to work on is getting those bulky sculpted jacket arms, trying to get those pinless one day. We'll have to see, but that is just something I noticed, but I like the closed eyes head sculpt. It'll be the second closed eyes head sculpt we've ever seen in Mattel history if you compare it with the Mega Powers Ringside Exclusive 2-Pack Hogan. But this is a good selection, and I think that they, they nailed it. Now, I, picking Shawn Michaels specifically, I don't have an issue with that. It's something about Mattel, they love their anniversaries and shish, so, you know, they're celebrating Mr. WrestleMania for 40 years of WrestleMania. I don't know. I feel like they're always trying to find some sort of anniversary or something to tie into it. Maybe that just makes releases easier or something, but I think this is a good release. I like this release. It is a good looking figure. I'm excited to review it and get it in hand and it should be one of those things that looks awesome when we get it there. But I am definitely going to be trying my hand at getting this in person. I did secure my San Diego Comic Con entry there so we are going to be headed out there to do the Mattel interview. We'll of course interview Mattel. We're going to break down all the reveals. We'll be there in person covering all the knowledge and everything that we see there. Getting our first thoughts, uploading it, do a full walkthrough display and maybe even have you know something where we can get in with Mattel and they can give us maybe a booth tour or something like that. So it should be fun. 
one as we explore there. But this is the WWE Mattel San Diego Comic Con exclusive for 2024. I like this better than last year's. Is it better than the Rip and Zeus two pack? I don't know because that was a two pack and it was really um, maybe if you compare the figure, maybe like if you battled each figure together, maybe this is better. But I am liking this a hell of a lot, and I would like to know what you guys think. Are you on the board with this? Do you like that it's not pop culture related or crossover related? Would you like to see something else? Would you like what we have here in terms of packaging and everything? I would like to know all of your thoughts here, man. But I'm on board with it. Going to try my hand. I'm going to try to order one online and as well try to buy one in person. And we will see what comes of that, of course. But anyways, man, that is going to pretty much wrap up today's news. Had to get on here and cover it. If we get any news about the AEW San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, if we get anything like that, I will definitely be sure to get on there and talk with you. I'll be sure to get on here and let you guys know about it. But I wanted to get on here and cover this, react to this. Every single year, we always do a reaction to the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. So this one should be fun, man. But I'm getting the hell out. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate you, fellas. Thank you guys so very much for the support, as always. Ways, man. Very pumped as we approach the San Diego Comic-Con season. Lots of news to come, lots of reveals, a ton of things. You guys know at Comic-Con, they never, they don't leave any stone unturned. There's tons of figures revealed, usually 20 Ultimates or so, probably 50 Elites, something like that. Or you know, yeah, The numbers are always crazy, man, but I'm getting the hell out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.